Hackers. Welcome to episode 13 of The Commit. I'm Richard. I'm Neil. Hey, Neil. This week, we've got a cool interview with Jade. She's going to tell us all about how she got involved in hackathons when she was at Rutgers and what she's seeing on the scene. Should be a really fun segment. Yeah. But first, I understand you've got two online hackathons to tell people about. I do. First up is FLIR's Bring the Heat Hacker Challenge. You're actually going to be working with a thermal Im imaging camera, and you'll be able to see hotspots using both your camera, your your smartphone's camera, as well as the uh, the FLIR One thermal camera. That's cool. I've actually seen this used at hackathons, and it's really interesting. You get some really cool projects with yeah, them. Yeah, definitely. Um, there's over $32,000 in prizes, and there's a simulator in the SDK, so even if you don't have a camera yet, you can still check it out. That's awesome. And you were telling me about a hackathon that's running just this weekend, but it's virtual? Yeah, Meteor of Meteor.js is actually running an online hackathon just this weekend. Um, there's, 15, 000, there's over $15,000 in prizes with it, and there's some cool stuff from a bunch of participating uh, sponsors, including Kadira, Sandstorm, Useful IO, and Meteor Toys. So it's only this weekend, but you can hack from anywhere. So even if you're sitting at home in your sweatpants, this one's for you. That's awesome. Okay, cool. We'll be back with staff picks, but let's run the Jade interview. So, Jade, why don't you introduce yourself to the Commit viewers? Who yeah, are you sure. What are you doing in hackathons? So I'm Jade. I just graduated from Rutgers at, uh, with an environmental and business economics degree. But as you mentioned, I'm a part of the hackathon community, and that's what I'm here to talk about. That's really cool. So you had business and environmental, and how did you end up in hackathons then? Yeah, it's, it's a bunch of weird events that happened. Um, so my major required me to have a computer competency requirement. And usually people take the Comp Apps for Business class. Okay. But it teaches Scratch, um, which not a lot of people know or yeah, use. I'm not even sure what that is. Yeah, not very necessary. So in the you world. decided you needed to learn something else? I did. I wanted to learn something useful that I could use in the future. So I decided to take computer science, uh, intro to computer science. Oh, cool. Yeah. So I learned Java and the basic tools and just how to. But your fundamentals. Right. Like you essentially. Excellent, that's yeah. good stuff. And it was like during that time that you got involved in hackathons? Yeah, so there's um, a guy who came into my class and he, he told us, hey guys, there's this really cool place called The Cave where you can uh, do your homework, you can learn new things, you can play video games, you can just hang out. And one day I was really early to class and I decided to go and that's where I met a lot of really cool people that are my really good friends now. Awesome. And a lot of the people in the kind of hanging out in the cave are the folks that put together Hack Are You? Oh, yeah, definitely. So, so that's where they hang out. That's how I got part of Hack Are You. And they told me, hey, you should come to a hackathon. And right. I did. And awesome. I fell in love. Um, yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> no, it's great. So what was your first hackathon experience like? Oh, my gosh. It was amazing. Um, but yes, well, actually, that's not my first hackathon. Hacker U is not my first hackathon. Oh, isn't it? No. Oh, cool. So what was your first <laughs> Hacker U like then? Um, so my first Hacker U, I just went to hang out with my friends. Um, and naturally, you get hungry because it's 24 hours. Yeah. So I decided to get a little nibble at the snack table. OK. Um, and I went, and there were not a lot of snacks out. And I decided, you know, I should help them out and put out some snacks. And I noticed, you know, as I'm putting the snacks out, people are also grabbing the snacks. So it was a continuous hmm. putting out. It happens uh, like that. It does. And then, you know, with a blink of an eye, 24 hours later, I was still putting out snacks. That's a very hackathon story. <laughs> and I've been tipped off that this evolved to you into quite a famous hackathon sandwich related project. Why don't you tell us a little bit about this? Yeah. So I started this thing called Jade Make Me a Sandwich. I'm Jade. I make you sandwiches. Uh, <laughs> And it started out where I noticed people were making sandwiches and it was really messy. You know, they're putting knives in different jars and that's not very sanitary. No. So I said, you know, let me do this for you. What do you want? Um, and that's essentially where it started. Wow. And I thought this is definitely something that you can automate. You can make it faster. It's an awesome service to provide people that are as well, right? You could say it's a sandwich as a service. <sighs> That's amazing. But then you actually <laughs> built this out as a project? I did at another hackathon <laughs> at Hack Princeton. Of course, you got to do it at Hackathon. And essentially what I did was it was an, a web app where you could order your sandwich. Okay. And I would deliver it to your table. You don't even have to get up. This is amazing. <laughs> Can we get this for DevPost? <laughs> you should. <laughs> yeah, we need this. It was great. Uh, yeah, so essentially that's how three hackathons later, it's still at HackRU. That's so cool. That's it awesome. seems to be a crowd favorite. 
So, like, what are you up to these days? Uh, so you've graduated now? I have. Awesome. Yeah, so I currently am a part-time contractor at MLH, which stands for Major League Hacking. Um, it sanctions college hackathons. And what I do is essentially if someone is a little too busy but they have a little too much on their hands, they'll give some duties to me to do. Oh, cool. So you're just kind of helping, like, fill out the capacity I there. am, yeah. So it's fair to say then that, like, getting involved in hackathons sort of, like, really changed your, like, career trajectory. Oh, it and has. Kind of things. Yeah. So I, in a million years, I would have never imagined to be here. Amazing. Yeah. I didn't even know what a hackathon was until I entered the cave. That's so cool. Yeah. So you would, I'm guessing from this, that you would encourage people that, like, aren't computer science majors to, like, get involved in hackathons Absolutely. and, like, try this out. Yeah. This is a great community. You should just talk to somebody. They're very encouraging. If you want to learn something, they're there for you. So what's a good way to like find hackathons then that people can go to if, if they're interested in checking this out? Yeah, so if you're a college student or just out of college, you can go to mlh.io slash events. Okay. Yep, and it's a list of all the hackathons happening throughout the season, and you just click it and you can register. That's so cool. You get links into the, all the different hackathon sites from there. Great ways you can find out which ones to apply exactly. to. Exactly. Yeah. That's really cool. So, you know, one thing that Neil and I are really focused on when we commit is the cool projects that we see both the hackathons. It's always the most fun thing. So, is there a project that like springs to mind that you saw built recently? You yeah. Enjoyed? Actually, so this past weekend we had Hacker U, and there was this one that really stood out called IDEJ that was created by three students at Stevens Institute of Technology. Oh yeah, this was a really cool project. I remember seeing this and I think we actually were able to get a demo that we can overlay. So well, why don't we tell people what's going on here, what is happening with this project? Yeah, sure. So essentially, if you're at an event or at a party and, they're, and you want a song played, all you have to do is text a number through Twilio and it'll send your song to the virtual DJ and it'll enter the queue and your song will eventually be played. That's cool, right? And the virtual DJ, I think, if looking at the app, they can actually approve or deny it and then you get notified yep. about this? Yep, yep. That's really cool. And I, I really like this as well when I was judging there. And you know, one of the reasons for me was I, we've seen projects that are kind of take this concept and loft it in hackathons, but this one was actually really polished and the team actually built through the whole experience end to end and it really worked super well. So why we're able to demo it here tonight. That's really cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for coming on the show and uh, let's go back to Neil for his stack pick. All right, everybody, we're back and it's time for my staff pick. This week I picked SNS payments from SD hacks. Richard, this is an epic hack. Okay. Absolutely epic. I'm ready. Hit me. What does it do? All right. This is contactless payments without Android Pay, without Apple Pay, without NFC, without any of that. What this team did is they found a way to turn a credit card number and the expiration date into an audio file, into a wave. And then they played that from the phone through the headphone jack. They amplified it. And then they somehow put that through an induction coil, which then created an electromagnetic field that mimics exactly what happens when you swipe your card right through a credit card terminal. Uh, hang on, Neil. I think that the viewers and I need a little recap here. So did you just say the f they recorded the credit card number in a WAV file that they put through an induction loop out of the headphone jack, and then it works mimicking the effect of sliding your card? Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Does it work? Yes, they said it worked. I, I reached out to the team, and they said that it works with a square credit card reader. And that's proof enough for me because if you can pay for a cab ride. This is amazing. This is one of the coolest hacks I've seen in a long time. We really, really, really want to see it in the wild. So if you're part of the team, we want to see this and we want to see a video for real. Yeah. Come to visit Neil and I in New York. We'll let you buy lunch just so we can see the thing. Awesome, folks. That was episode 13 of The Commit. Thanks for joining us. We got a really exciting episode coming in a few weeks. So make sure you stay subscribed and you're going to see something really cool. All right, thanks so much for joining us and happy hacking. Happy hacking.